Hello guys, welcome back to another video, and today I will be ranking all FNAF games, except for these, uh, except for these ones, including the FNAF World, uh, Halloween DLC. So yeah, let's get started with FNAF 1. And FNAF 1 is actually a classic. FNAF 1 is the first FNAF game to ever release, as it, ha as it had our main characters, Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, Foxy, and our secret character, Golden Freddy. Now, Five Nights at Freddy's was based- the first game was basically, uh, based off of, uh, uh, a true, uh, based off of true, like, I don't know, like, a true story, but, like, Five Nights at Freddy's is the OG classic from 2014. Obviously, it's going in S tier. Now, FNAF 2. FNAF 2 is a little bit- is a little bit underrated. The reason for this is because I don't know, but it has, but it is part one of the scarier games in FNAF, in FNAF franchise. But don't get me wrong, it's just it's, it's I mean it's more of a classic look for these guys, since they are since they're supposed to be like old ver older versions in the game, 1987 animatronics I believe. Now, FNAF 2 actually gave some more lore for the game, and that was pretty cool. Added f added at least one, two, three, four, five more animatronics. Another ha another five to add to a custom night. And it, it did have some new techniques. Pretty cool. Honestly, I'm going... I'm going to put it in S tier still because it's still a classic. Next up is FNAF 3, which is very underrated. This is where we meet Springtrap, aka William Afton, in game 3D version. Kind of 3D, I don't know. But FNAF 3 is very underrated. Honestly, it has some good techniques, some good new techniques, but like this. Well, I mean, it's just that. The phantom animatronics are just there to, for a nice jump scare, not just out oh, to kill you. And also, the f phantom animatronics are pro are actually like the least uh, favorited of the of any animatronic uh, type. It's just not they're just not good. But Springtrap's the only cool character in that th in that uh, game. I'm honestly gonna put this in a C tier, so, even though it is a classic FNAF game. But, which things that could be forgettable. We have FNAF 4, which is, um, well, I have nothing else to say, but it's S tier. The reason why FNAF 4 is actually S tier is because it has more horror. It helps fix a little bit of the genre for the franchise. It has, it holds some, it holds a lot of FNAF lore. More, pi more bigger pieces of the puzzle. And yeah, FNAF 4 also has good, good, better, good, really good designed animatronics, like, oh my god, I can't even begin to say, but those animatronics are amazing, and gosh, I just, I just don't know, I have to put this in S here, everything about the game is really good, now we have the Halloween DLC, the FNAF 4, but it's a Halloween edition with the stupid nightmare baby, also, but the thing is, this is not canon to the FNAF lore. It's just kind of like an extra game. But honestly, I'm gonna put it in B tier. I kind of like this Halloween edition. Kind of ma, kind of follows up with the whole like genre for FNAF 4, the horror genre and all that stuff. Makes it a little bit more scarier. But it's B tier since it's not really canon to the game and it's just a DLC add-on. So yeah, FNAF World. It's just a fun FNAF game, you know. It's just there. FNAF World, it doesn't really fix the whole FNAF genre, but I think it does follow up on some of the lore? I don't know. I've never really seen this game a lot, because I didn't really care about it. It was not really as scary. It was not really as much scarier as like any of the others. I want to put it in E tier. Sister Location. Sister Location is a very underrated game for some reason. I don't know why, but like, this game does... There's way more credit than it actually does. It has some more- This time, you can actually move. 
like walk around and stuff. And but there's some characters that could be overrated and stuff like Bon Bon or oh no, Bon Bon's cool. But like Ennard or Funtime Freddy. Um dang. Some of these characters some of the and also some of the characters are not that scary, but the thing is that the fina- this holds some more FNAF lore for us. Puts some more secrets on the table. I like it. It's also kind of fixes the horror genre. Fixes FNAF World for us for a reason. And yeah, it's an A tier, I would say. Um, Next up, we have Pizzeria Simulator. But uh, don't get me wrong, this is actually a pretty cool game. FNAF 6 Pizzeria Simulator is a game, well, it's underrated, I would say. But uh, f- you can... You can cus- it's about where you can customize your own pizzeria, hold some FNAF lore. It's- you can also salvage animatronic- old animatronics like uh, Willy Maft and Scrap Trap, I guess, or Scrap Baby for money. Like so, you- so then you could um, get- add more things to your pizzeria, so you'd be all good for Saturdays or something. So and then basically, if you don't want to get a liability risk, so if you get a li- uh, liability risk, you lose the game because you got a lawsuit. And yeah, yeah, that's basically the whole game, the whole premise of the game. But the thing is, do we really need to practice or play as Golden Freddy shooting pizzas into kids' mouths at the very beginning? Honestly, it's very uncalled for, very a bit un, it's just a bit unneeded. Honestly, don't understand it. It's going, but it's going in uh, B tier and above Halloween Edition because it's a, it's a, it's a, uh, it's a sixth installment. We'll give it to that. We'll give it that. It's a six, uh, sixth official inst- installment. Yeah, Ultimate Custom Night is next. Now I don't know what to say about Ultimate Custom Night, but Ultimate Custom Night is actually it's not bad. It's not bad at all. I have the game. It's pretty cool. I'm honestly going to put it in B tier. It's the same thing. It's just a challenge, but not with all animatronics. We're missing, like, Withered Freddy, like this Withered Freddy. We're missing Withered Foxy. We're we're missing Nightmare Foxy. Nightmare Chica's still in there, though. It's just a secret character. Some of the Phantom animatronics, though. Some of, some, like... What else are we missing? We got classic Golden Freddy. We don't need classic Golden Freddy. We have Wither Golden Freddy. But yeah, it's just going in B tier. It's the same thing as FNAF 6. Help Wanted. I never really understood the whole premise of the game. It's basically made by another creator, but uh, allowed and kind of just worked on with by Scott Cawthon himself. I'm honestly going to put this in A tier. It also fixes a lot of the horror genre. Has some lore. We finally, for some for some reason, I don't even know what the whole premise of like the mimic is. The mimic is just some kind of like there, it's just there, you know. It's like there, it's like glitch trap or something. And now we have Curse of Dread Bear. It, ha- Dread. Don't get me wrong. It's actually going in an automatic A tier too. But the reason for this is because. Dreadbear. Okay, it's just Dreadbear. It's the same thing as Help Wanted, but Dreadbear makes this game way better. Dreadbear's character and design is really good. I really like Dreadbear. Honestly, I think Dreadbear should be like canon, but I don't. I don't think that's ever gonna happen. <sighs> FNAF AR. FNAF AR going in uh, D tier. The reason for this is be- the reason why he's going in D tier is just this is a free mobile game. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. But like you have to pay for all the skins and stuff. It's just I don't know. But also, it's just a bit overhated. The reasoning f- I don't know what the reason for this is, but like I mean, I kind of know. It's like the some animations are getting recycled. F- or, like some uh, character animations get recycled. And like put on to cut other skins, like we don't we don't need those, we don't need recycled animations. Also, the character designs get worse and worse. Like, like, come on, just uh, a Lumix, just make th- your skins better, and then maybe people like play the game. 
Next up, we have Freddy in space. Now, Freddy in space is actually going to go in a solid, solid C tier. Now, I'm going to put this in C tier. Don't get me wrong. It's not a canon game. But this actually, this these things actually give us, like, hints to, or clues to, like, what how like the games are gonna be like like how fnaf games or movie or the fnaf movie is gonna be like you know that's that's we'll get to that one later but um this is pretty cool i guess not the best game but like it's still cool now next up we have fury's rage um i don't know about i don't know I've heard about secure a uh, Fury's Rage, but like, I'm just gonna say it's Furry's Rage, you know. But like, I'm gonna put it in D tier. I don't really know much about the game. I'm not putting it in E tier because I mean the art looks pretty cool, I guess. And next up we have Security Breach, which is actually one of my favorite games for FNAF. Uh, this one is going. Let me let me fix this real quick. Yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah, right there. Th let's put it like that. Security Breach is actually one of my favorite games. It's a free roam game. Literally a free roam. And I don't mean the game is free. I literally mean it's a free roam game. But it, the game is free, not free. It's like $50, but it's fine. It's kind of worth it. The thing is, there are still bugs uh, in it, but it doesn't stop it from becoming a good free roam game for FNAF. First, one of the first ever... Just give him, just give uh, Steel Wolf some credit for this. Cla like, this is how, this is kind of how like the FNAF franchise came out for, like viewers and players and stuff. Like, come on, Security Breach lured people in, just like Glitch Trap lured people into this basement. Um, anyway, no, don't get me started on Ruin. Ruin is actually gonna go in a solid F tier. Now the re now don't okay, don't get me started. Don't get me started. I see how many I feel like I see how many people are disliking the video but like security breach ruin security breach ruin is a is the security breach add-on where you have to try to save Gregory from the or the ruins of the pizza plex as Cassie and it, it turns out the Gregory is actually the mimic but the thing is that there are some bug and fix uh, bugs and glitches the animatronics don't actually don't ever attack you unless the freaking MXES or the Mexis or whatever is is there But I've never actually seen the Mexus in game. Like, come on, bro. Why do I never see that entity ever in game anymore? Now the animatronics will like never come after me. It's I swear it's it's not it's not good, dude. If the animatronics were actually trying to attack me, I would actually like the challenge. But this is just no, no. I can't I can't allow that. But at least it fix at least it does fix some of the horror genre for the whole franchise. In security breach for for Christ's for Christ's sakes. Jump scares, too many jump scares, but they're they're still pretty good, I guess. It's just that game is just bad. The DLC is just bad, and that's all. Now Freddy in Space is actually gonna go on a C tier, but above Freddy in Space 1. This actually gave us some hints to the FNAF movie, which I feel like is an accomplishment for uh, Scott Cawthon and Steel Wool. But, and yeah, we actually get to play as Chica. It's not bad. And also, the, some, the game is just kind of a little, bit, a little bit better. The 2D graphics are good. I like it. It's pretty good. But it's just C tier because it's not like all, all canon game for FNAF. But uh, yeah, um, my favorite game is FNAF 4, to be honest. My favorite FNAF game is FNAF 4 because it's more scary. It's the scariest out of any of these FNAF games. So, like, yeah. Deserves that spot. And for now, you can get in the goddamn bin. Because nobody, nobody, I don't care. Security Breach Ruin. You're, you're kind of good, but it's just, no. I can't allow you to be above FNAF World just because of the, what you did to the freaking game. It just made it the worst, you know? But yeah, I'm going to end the video off here, so see you guys next time. Bye! -you.
one Time to throw our troubles away Hey, hey We're turning up the music We're having a ball This band keeps rocking Forever and ever And into the July We're gonna go for a ride To the pizza shop with a friend We're jumping in a rock Until the sun goes down And the moon is shining Forever and ever 